Hey, hey, unpacking it, community. It's Bryce Johnson wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And as we wrap up 2021, I try to do this each year where we, we take a look back at the, the previous year and, and hopefully get, a, get you excited for the, the upcoming year. And I hope that's true of this video today. But, but I want to take a little bit different of a, of a route to get there. And as I reflect back on this year, I have to go back a little bit further and reflect back to when we started this ministry now eight years ago. We're finishing up year number eight with Unpacking It, and it has been unbelievable, amazing, tremendous to see God move, to see God work, to see God open up doors, to, to see the changes that we've experienced as a ministry. But more than that, I want you to know that God is moving in me, in the other staff members as we come together as, as a team, within the board, with, within key people that God has placed in, in my life and, and in the life of, of this ministry, that God wants unpacking it to continue. And the reason I say that is because this was a hard year for me personally. Uh, there were just a lot of challenges at work, at home, uh, with the world, with life, with friends, with you know, just all sorts of things going on, and it takes its toll. And I've been seeking the Lord to, to figure out, okay, you know, what's next for unpacking it? Where are we going? What, what are we supposed to be doing? And I'm thrilled to tell you that, that God continues to give me a, a peace that this is where I'm supposed to be, that it is a privilege and honor to be able to lead unpacking it. But the only way I'm able to do that and to do that well is by being surrendered to him. This is not my ministry. It's not the board's ministry. It is God's ministry. And God is so big and so amazing and so incredible that he can use something as silly as sports, as silly as fantasy football, to bring him glory, to reveal himself to us. And he continues to do that in my life, in the life of sports fans that are a part of our community, hopefully in, in your life as, as you, you watch this. And I, I hope that you've enjoyed the podcast this year. We made some, some changes that I think were, were great changes. Uh, the devotional, the events that we did this year, Fantasy Football Fellowship, some, some awesome opportunities for encouragement and, and challenging one another. And, and, and so it really was a great year. But in the midst of the challenges that I'm sure you faced and, and, and I've faced in, in my own life, God's glory shines through. His goodness shines through. His faithfulness shines through. And that's been the story of unpacking it, that whenever I, I'm about to give up or whenever I, I, I don't know what's next or, or don't know what to do or am, am so discouraged, God shows up. God reveals himself. He, he comforts me. He gives me peace. He gives me clarity. And, and I don't have all the answers. I, I don't know what unpacking it's going to be five years from now, necessarily. I, I've got some ideas, and I think many of those ideas and, and vision from, is from God. But it's a process of checking that to make sure, wait, that's not, that's not my own idea. That's God's idea. It's, it's not my direction. It's God's direction. And I have to continue to get back to that and continue uh, to refine the vision and the direction. Uh, but, but I just want you to know that God is moving in unpacking it, and I invite you to be a part of things. I thank you for those of you that support this ministry financially. Uh, I invite those of you that, that haven't maybe done so yet but, but want to and feel that nudge, get, get on board. Get on board to what, what God's doing. Um, and, and it's it start, you know, it's kind of starts within my own heart, and, and it starts within uh, your heart for, for God to, to work. And, um, he, he is alive and well and powerful and wonderful. And so that's why I keep going because I serve a God who I truly believe in. And I believe that he changes lives because he continues to change mine over and over in new ways, in deeper ways. And, and, and 
reveals him, himself in, in so many uh, different ways as well. And so I'm excited and enthusiastic about next year, 2022. As we've learned, there's so much out of our control. There's so much uncertainty. And so I'm not going to make promises. I, I don't know exactly you know, where we're heading or what we're doing, but, but we're going to take one step at a time. With open hands, open hearts, open eyes, open minds to what God wants us to do. And so I'm so thankful for your support, your encouragement, your involvement that we're in this together uh, here at Unpacking It. Eight years, we're just getting started, and, and we'll see where God takes this ministry. But it's about the individual. It's about the individual sports fan experiencing God, knowing God in a, a more profound, personal way. And, and, and every day, we wake up to follow Jesus and to live the life that he's called us to live. And so I hope that we uh, will continue to do that together and, and, and within the context of, of unpacking it. And so I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Soak it in. Enjoy God's presence. That's, that's my, my hope uh, for, for myself. And, and I, can't, I can't wait for a fresh start in the new year. And it might continue to be challenging, but even in the midst of it, God restores, he rebuilds, he refreshes, he leads and guides, and that's what we, we cling to. And so thank you. Merry Christmas. Talk to you soon right here at Unpacking It Ministries. 